hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i am going to be making a dress so we've been invited to a wedding that's gonna be in two weeks today is the 20 today is the 29th of april so i have about two weeks actually to make this dress so the dress that i'm thinking of making is going to be a corset bodice a corset inspired borders um with sleeves because if you live in south africa especially here in Gauteng, it's already like we're already in winter and i'm thinking in two weeks time it's just gonna be like super cold and the wedding that we're going to is going to be mostly towards night time so i don't want to wear a jacket on top of my dress so i want to make long sleeve and the skirt i am going to make a half circle skirt so i've already made like a mock-up of the dress just to make the pattern and everything and uh I, i'm i'm happy with what i came up with so for the borders pattern i'm going to be using the nova rose corset pa pattern which i will link down in the description box below if you guys haven't seen it but it's very very popular it's all over tiktok and also on her channel it's a free pattern you can print it it's just three pages i kind of just adjust it to what i want and it turned out great so that's what i'm going to be using and the skirt i'm just going to cut a half circle skirt i feel like a half circle skirt is a little bit more flattering compared to the full circle because i'm going to be using satin fabric i want it to flow but i also want it to kind of like show my calves a little bit and for the sleeve i just drafted like a basic long sleeve uh there's plenty of videos on youtube if you want to learn how to draft a sleeve so this dress is going to be green i just fell in love with this color when i was looking through like pinterest for inspiration and i feel like it's it's perfect for like a wedding because it's not like a bright green it's not gonna like stand out like on their pictures and so for the main fabric i got three meters because i'm going to do a half circle skirt and i don't want um side seams on it and i'm also going to do long sleeves and the bodies so i wanted it to be enough so i got three meters so i also got a lining fabric and for the lining fabric i went with trilobo which is a stretchy because uh the mia satin has like one way stretch and i got two meters of this trilobo because i'm not gonna line the sleeves i'm only gonna line the skirt and the bodies and i also got this woven fabric this is fast curl i saw this video from someone on tiktok where she was making a sort of like a satin corseted dress and it had a thicker fabric um i don't know if it was this fast con or if it was um like a twill but it was one of these thicker materials she actually sewed the the boning on this kind of fabric to kind of like cinch in her client so i thought that was a really really good idea so i'm going to try to do this it's a little bit hard to explain but i think you guys will understand once i'm done with the dress and yeah so i got half a meter of this and i also have some boning i just got like few meters of the boning and i also got the little zippers i'm going to cover them with the main fabric i do have the manual little rubber um thingy to cover the buttons and i also got zippers this is an invisible zipper this one is gonna go on the main uh dress on the main fabric and i also have another zipper so this one is going to go on the first coat like like i said guys you will see you'll understand once everything is done and i also got a thread i love using guramen because they're really really good quality so the only thing that i forgot to get was one of those thin colorful elastics to make the uh button loops for the buttons here you can just cut it on the bias and make it like very very thin so now i'm gonna go ahead and cut the skirts because those are big so i'm gonna have to cut them on the floor but the rest of the stuff i'm gonna cut them here on the table i just want to quickly do that before rain comes back she's gonna be back in like an hour from school
didn't hear all the fabric pieces like it's, it's a lot of pieces this is why i couldn't put it on camera because it's a lot of pieces to cut so here i have the skirts i have the lining skirt and the main fabric skirt so you saw me cut the skirts so this is the front of the main fabric and the back of the main fabric and this is the side which is also the front of the main fabric and here i have the lining pieces and here these are the sleeves and the wrist pieces and these are all the three uh, pieces for the fasco so that we have the front piece the side pieces and the back so the back i have four because uh, i don't want the bowling to poke me i'm not gonna line the back with the lining fabric i'm just gonna line line it with the same fasco fabric so this is like 100 percent cotton it doesn't stretch which is perfect for building the corset on so first i'm going to join the main pieces because this one's i'm going to join all of them at once so here i have the front and also the back so i'm going to stitch here and stitch here and i'm also going to join the first core but i'm only going to join the front pieces and also the lining i'm only going to join the front pieces and the back pieces i'll join them later after i'm done uh, with the bowling So I went ahead and measured all my bonings and I cut them. So I'm going to stitch them on the fasco piece and also the back pieces, the fasco as well. So I have six for the front and I have four for the back. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch them before I can join the side. So I'm done with the boning. This is how it's looking on the front piece and these are the back pieces. Uh, two of them. So I'm just going to take the lining. I already pressed the seams. So I'm just going to go ahead and base these two together so they can be like one piece. And then once I'm done with that, I'm also going to line the back pieces. So I'm lining them with the same fabric. So I'm going to stitch here and stitch here and stitch here and stitch here and then turn them inside out. So now I've done the basting and the um, ironing of the two back pieces. So I've attached the lining pieces here for the back two on the sides here so i'm going to join like three these three pieces together here so this is going to be sort of like the corset but this one is going to be attached to the main fabric but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and join this to make it one 
place so here i have both the sleeves i'm just gonna go and join them here on from the armhole going towards the cuff and once i'm done with that i'll go ahead and do a gather stitch right here on the bottom this is where i'm gonna add the cuff so now i am working on the cuffs i've already attached the button loops i used the same material i just cut it on like bias so that it can still stretch and i attached like three of them on each cuff and i also interfaced this piece so i'm going to go ahead and attach the other piece of the cuff right sides facing actually i'm gonna stitch around like here and then leave the one side where i'm gonna attach it to the sleeve so i am done with the sleeves this is how they are looking they're looking really really pretty with the loops and i just did like a top stitch to join the pieces together and now i've pinned together the main fabric and the lining together on the neck line so i'm going to go ahead and join this one so i'm gonna stitch around here and then turn it around and then do like another stitch with the lining and the seam allowance so that it can like lay flat and not flip over so here i've pinned the sleeves to the main fabric so i'm gonna go ahead and baste this once because i want to see if i can attach the sleeves to the lining before i finish everything so i'm gonna baste this and see how i'm gonna tuck in the raw edges inside the lining so So I'm done attaching the sleeves, but I failed <laughs> to close the lining. I'm just going to do it by hand. So I'm just going to leave it for now. I will sort that part out. So now I've pinned the skirts with the bodies. So I have the lining skirt and the main fabric skirt and the body. The bodies is in between. It's going to be sandwiched in between the two skirts so that when I wear it, it there's no separation in between the two pieces the two skirts so i'm just gonna go ahead and stitch this all the way around to the other side
so i just finished attaching the skirts and this is how it's looking like it looks really really good this fabric is so pretty and also right here the back i attached the zipper just this one on the little uh, corset piece just so that i can try it on and see if i need to trim off some access fabric here which i didn't need to so it fits really really well and last side i also finished attaching the lining i did this by hand just hand stitching just so that i can have all the raw edges tucked away and same on the other armhole and next i am going to attach the main zipper this is the one that's going to be on the main fabric so i'm gonna go ahead and attach it and also finish the access skirt length down here so this is what i'm gonna do now and then um so i'm gonna attach the zipper on the main fabric and then i will tuck the lining by hand same as what i did here on the armhole so i'm done attaching the zip this is how it's looking it's just a little bit wet from my iron but the zipper is on i also finished the back seam on the on both the skirts so this is how it's looking and this is how it's looking from the inside so the zipper is on and the lining skirt is also like sewn so the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to hem the skirt so the lining skirt is one inch shorter than the main skirt so i'm just going to fold it and hem it but then for the main skirt i think i'll fold it iron it and then hem it so yeah and i've also started putting on the buttons so this is how they're looking i'm still deciding whether i should do the bigger ones or the small one so the dress is done i just wanted to show you guys the final uh, little changes that i made um here on the lining i did what i said so i did like a rolled hem which is fine so for the main fabric i did the rolled hem here but it didn't work it was just like wobbly so i had to change my tension it still wasn't looking great so i did it again but this time i actually like zigzag the edges first and then only roll it once because once I was, when I was rolling it twice, it was becoming too bulky. So this works. And yeah, so that's done. I actually have worn the dress. It's just that I'm editing now and I just figured maybe I should explain this. And the buttons, I end up going with the bigger ones. So this is how they're looking. And everything turned out great. I really, really loved it. I got a lot of compliments on its dress. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.